this video is going to be just a little bit different from some of the other videos I've done, uh, but I wanted to talk about how power flows through the camp, uh, specifically how it prioritizes uh, which path it follows, uh, and specifically in cases where you uh, don't have enough power, so maybe you're requesting 8 power uh, and you're only able to send 6, uh, how the camp decides which object gets that power, and then how that can be useful to make the camp do certain things. Um, this kind of fills in a, a gap that we sometimes have where we're like, I wish a certain logic uh, switch or operator existed. This, this is some stuff that you can uh, do uh, when you understand how this works. Uh, so what I'm going to start with is four lights, and I'm going to wire them to a generator. This is the small generator. It only produces three power. Uh, each of these individual lights requires one power. Uh, and I'm starting with a situation where I, I am requesting more power than I have. So how does the camp determine which item is going to get the power? Uh, it starts in the order that you wire them. This is at the very lowest level, uh, without a lot of connectors or anything like that. You can see each one of these requires one power. Uh, when I turn it on, the one on the far right is not going to light. Um, because we ordered it left to right, the one over there uh, is, is last on the priority list, so it doesn't get anything. Um, if I disconnect these and I rewire them, uh, instead of going left to right, I'll wire that one, and then I'll wire the third one, I'll wire the fourth one, and then I'll wire the second one last. Uh, now when I turn the power on, you're going to see that that second one uh, is not lighting. Um, so it goes in the order that you wire them. This this is just at the, the highest uh, level, um, or I guess the, the lowest level of wiring these. Uh, I assume in the, in the game somewhere each wire gets like a number identifier and then power sort of goes least to greatest as, as it goes through. Uh, now this is just at the lowest level, so each each new, uh, I, I guess every sub-level of a connection, if I, if I put additional lights here, uh, I'm going to put nine lights just just to show how this works. Now, instead of wiring them all directly um, to the switch, I'll wire this one. Actually, uh, yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna wire this first light. I'm gonna wire all uh, six of the front lights together. So each one of these wirings is, is a new level in in the uh, it's, it's a new sub level of of the power. Um, rather than me wiring them all to the switch. Uh, which would be on one level, this is like six levels deep, and then I'm going to wire backwards. Uh, and this is three levels deep. Uh, so even though I wired that front row first, so this again we're talking about the order that, that I wired them, uh, when you look at each connection because I've wired them together, you, you could think of those as new levels. I need to put another, I need to put a five power generator here so I can get eight power uh, for my nine lights. So when I, when I turn this on, you would maybe expect uh, that the backlight wouldn't light, but it's actually going to be the one on the furthest, on the furthest uh, hand on the right here. And now the reason for that is, even though I wired them first, uh, when you look at the connectors, uh, this is only three levels deep, uh, and this ends up being, I think, five, five six levels deep. Uh, so it's much deeper, so it doesn't get there. Uh, so the game first is going to go level by level and then wire in the order that you wired it. So if I turn this off, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to remove the third uh, generator here. And what you're going to see here is that the power can only travel uh, in three, uh, three layers or three levels, uh, and that the backlight, because I wired that one last, uh, is the one that's not lit. Uh, you look at that, there's three levels. You look this way, there's three levels of lights. Uh, so first it prioritizes the levels or layers that are connected, and then uh, inside each one it's going to connect in the order you wired them. Uh, now I know that uh, explanation might have been a little bit confusing so um, I'm actually going to give just a separate demonstration. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is uh, I'm going to create levels and show you the difference. So I've put uh, two power pylons, uh, I'm going to put three lights here, then I'm going to put uh, three lights here, this is just going to be a simpler uh, demonstration uh, of how that works. Uh, first I'll show the connect order. Uh, so I'll turn that off, connect this to a 3 power generator. I'm going to connect this one first, connect it to these lights. Uh, and then I will 
will connect the second pylon connect it to these lights. Just a reminder, this generator only produces three power. Uh, each one of these lights requires one, so right now we're asking for six power. Uh, when I turn this on, the ones on the right are going to light first, because I wired them first. Uh, they all have the same number of layers, so we have the same number of pylons on both sides. Uh, but if I change this, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to remove these lights replace them. I suppose I didn't need to do that, but uh, so I'm going to put one just one pylon actually I'm going to put two pylons, put one there and I'll put three lights here. So this is going to show the difference in layering uh, where I have the one pylon on this side and I have two on this side. Uh, and I'm going to wire this side first. So even though I'm wiring this side first, this, this shows uh, how the power system prioritizes uh, the closer layers. So I'll wire this first, wire them. Again, there's two pylons here, so we're two levels deep. wire this uh, side just with one pylon uh, and because there are less layers here because this this is a, a lower level uh, when I turn that on the ones on the left are going to receive the power uh, now there are some special case scenarios with uh, certain powered objects that uh, will require power uh, when they're connected, but they, they don't have a specific requirement. So examples would be um, like the flame or the Tesla traps. Uh, you could hook power to them, but they, they don't require a set amount. So they, they don't have a number next to them. Um, they, they just require uh, some kind of power to be activated. Um, same thing would go with uh, maybe certain light fixtures and things like that. Uh, when you look at them uh, in the build menu, you'll see that they, they have a lightning bolt icon indicating they can be powered, uh, but they don't have a number saying how much power they require. Uh, so how those work in situations uh, where you're maybe uh, going in two different directions and you have a different number of layers uh, is a little bit different. Uh, so I'm going to set up these three lights for my generator with three power, uh, and that's going to be one layer deep. Just turn that off. Then I'm going to put a flamer here at the end of uh, three pylons, and I'm going to put this three layers deep. Uh, if I can find it somewhere. What am I doing here? Not even in the right. There we go. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to put that down. And then I will connect that. So even though uh, all my power is going to the ones on the right, uh, when I turn this on, my flamer is, is still going to initiate. So um, so that's something important to know of, of how that object is going to work. So now here's how I'm actually going to change that, because this, this is going to fit into some stuff we do later. Uh, so I'm going to put an object that requires one power uh, on the end here. And I'll use uh, one of these powered speakers because they also require one power. I, you don't need to use a light box. I just prefer them because they stack neatly. Uh, and then I'll hook the flame around to the, the end of this. Uh, and when I turn the power on, that, that flamer will not initialize. So I, I need to have that uh, at least that one power uh, reach that speaker before it's going to transmit. Uh, to the flamer, even though the flamer uh, does not require a set amount. Uh, so this is going to be a more uh, practical example of, of how you could use this, uh, and I'm going to be using the priority of wiring. Uh, I have two power doors, uh, each requires one power each. Uh, and I'm going to put down a switch here. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a two-way switch. So when I turn it on, I want one door to open and the other to close. Uh, when I turn it off, I want that door to close and the other to open. Uh, so I'm going to put down a three power generator. Next I'm going to put down two light boxes. Uh, they cost one power each. Uh, again, it could be the speakers. I just like light boxes. I'm going to wire them in. Uh, this removes two power from the circuits. Now I only have one going through the circuit. Uh, I'm going to wire it directly to the switch. Uh, 
And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a pylon for the door on the left. Uh, because I've placed the second and because there's a pylon here and one on the other side, uh, both of them will be on the same power layer. Uh, but because I've ordered this one second, uh, it's second in priority. So right now the switch is off. That means the power has opened the door on the left. If I turn it on, priority goes to the door that's on the right. Turn it off, it switches back and forth. So uh, they're both on the same layer. You could do the same thing where uh, maybe you had two pylons on the left if you didn't order them in the correct, uh, correct way. Uh, but basically these, these two connections, because we only have one power, uh, priority uh, gets passed back and forth between the two of them. Uh, if I wire it directly to the door, if I remove that layer, it doesn't work anymore, because now I, I'm never competing for a priority. I'm one layer uh, lower than the door on the right, and I always have power. Uh, so for this example, this is going to show how layering works and, and maybe a way that you could use it. To, uh, I've set up this, what I would call like a sequential activation. Uh, so I've got my two light boxes here, one power each, my three power generator, uh, and I've wired them all to these, uh, I guess, connectors, which are wired to flamers, which are wired to powered speakers. So each powered speaker uh, consumes one power. Uh, the flamer uses power and also acts as a connector because it's sitting between the powered speakers and the connector that's on the ground. Uh, when you look at the ground, you'll see that uh, I have one connector, two connector, three connector. This is to create uh, priority layers. Uh, so when these flamers go off, uh, because they're working as connectors to these powered speakers, uh, eventually the durability will go down and they will fall apart. Uh, once they fall apart, they stop sending power to the speaker. So once we stop setting power, we now have one extra power available. I'm gonna maybe, uh, this is taking a little while. Uh, but once this flamer uh, breaks uh, and it can no longer send power, we have one extra power to send. It's gonna move up the priority line. So it's gonna move from this one that has two connectors on the ground, and it's gonna move to the one that has three that is sitting next to it. I'll just wait for this to explode. Uh, I have two powered speakers there. You can see one is activated. I didn't need to put two. I don't know why I put two, but anyway, they're there. They, you don't need two. You just need one. Uh, and as that destroyed, this one activates. So this one has three connectors on the ground. Right now it has priority over this one, which has four connectors. Uh, and maybe this one's taken a while. Uh, so I'll just disarm it and it disarming it breaks it and then it moves on to the uh, the last flamer. Uh, I think this is a cool example. You could probably use other things to do this, maybe like the uh, spike board traps or something like that, but this just shows uh, maybe a, a sequential uh, use of the power that you could do something like this. Uh, now maybe a fun example of both prioritizing and uh, layering the power. I have a uh, laser tripwire in front of a door using a three power generator, two powers in the lights, uh, currently setting power to a one power door. Uh, when you go across the laser, it's going to disarm the laser. Uh, it's going to stop setting power to the door. It's going to reprioritize. You'll see there's two connectors on the floor uh, through that light box, and it's going to fire the three flamers. I'm going to go through it just to show that it works. It's going to close the door and turn them on. Uh, so I think this is kind of some interesting stuff, and I'm interested to see uh, what people use it for. I, I definitely think it opens a few options. So let me know what you do with it.